Welcome back to the channel, and if this is your first time, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Hey, we've received a couple questions along the way as to these product reviews that we do. Uh, do we make money off of them? Uh, do we get these products for free? And the answer is no to both of those things. We just buy them and we you know, share our successes or failures with you because that's the whole idea of the boating community is just to uh, give back to each other. So that's really the goal of it. Every now and then uh, we do get questions about some of the products. If they're from Amazon, we are an affiliate. So we make a couple cents on those and uh, we buy our equipment and you know, GoPros and those types of things with it. But otherwise, we have day jobs, just like everybody else, and uh, yeah. We'll pay for it. Yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoy the review. So one upside of living on a boat is a, an abundance of fresh air. And when you think about it, we have these great doors open up nice and wide to the sea air, which is wonderful. I love the fresh air. Yeah. Uh, we have a pilot house door as well that opens up. We get a nice airflow through here. You know, we have air conditioning and such, but something about fresh air that's just wonderful. Uh, the only downside is on the water, you get a lot of bugs too, mm -hmm. uh, especially late in the season. Yep. Bees, uh, which as we all know, it's no fun. So uh, we are having some phantom screens installed. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with phantom screens in houses, they're pretty slick because they just go in a canister and they roll up instead of having big clunky screens that, quite frankly, on a boat, there's nowhere for them to slide. We don't have enough room. No. Right. So these uh, screens that are, again, they're enclosed in a canister, um, they're going to do two things for us. They're going to be, well, actually three. Privacy screens, uh, they block UV to stop sun damage on our wood, which is a constant battle here. And then the third one is, like we said, keep the bugs out. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids. Grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. Today they're going to come in. It took us about five weeks to be able to have them get it ordered. Right. The ones we are going to be receiving actually have a, a wood grain finish to them as well, which I think probably uh, slowed the whole thing down a little bit. But with all the wood that we have in the boat, and we really like it, we didn't really want to put something that was black or, you know, that uh, was a dark brown. We wanted to blend as much as possible with the beautiful walnut that we have in the boat. I think the, the one last thing, uh, we did order these. A lot of them have a magnetic pole on them, and what happens is if you let go of them, they'll slam shut if you don't hold them. But when you have friends and family over, which we have a lot of people on the boat, yeah. it's super easy that the first time they grab them, uh, <laughs> it just slams open and just startles everybody. But before we get into the gory details of the install, we'll have Joel from Da Vinci Screens tell us about him. So this is Joel from Da Vinci Screens, and he installed all of our screens so can you tell me a little bit about it so these are the um phantom screens um and this is the legacy version which is a new latching um option so mm -hmm. it just comes over and clicks automatically in place locks in place um and then same with the other side so you can independently operate either side it's perfect so. i love it and these, we did a custom wood grain coating to match the um, beautiful trim on board here. And we also did uh, solar mesh to mm -hmm. you know, shade from the sun. So, yeah, we can custom size to fit almost any opening. So they're perfect for our boats. What do I need to do to make sure that everything works? Uh, maintenance is very simple. You just spray the tracks on the top and bottom with silicone spray once a month. Um, and other than that, just make sure the tracks are kept clean. If there's dirt build up in them, you just vacuum them out. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so what are the different types of screens that you can get? So this one that we got... This one? is the solar insect mesh. So you can get... Um, standard insect mesh, which um, 
is perfect for getting optimum airflow and you're not trying to block any sun. Um, the solar mesh is a perfect mix of both. You block the sun and you get a nice breeze through it um, and keep the insects out. Um, you can also get privacy mesh up to 90% or 95% blockage if you really want to block the sun or get privacy. Right. And in a boat, we live in a fishbowl, so that's not a bad thing. That's true. Enough chit chat. It's time to let Joel get down to business and start installing the screens. Uh, you know, on a boat, things are a little tighter. Our headers and the threshold on the doors, uh, they're pretty tight. So that meant that he had to really think about the measurements around these things. Uh, and then you also have the actual tracks. Now, the tracks, uh, Basically the screen slider runs on them, but also the screen uses those as well as a guide so that they don't gap out. Uh, Joel spent a good deal of time making sure that the alignment was perfect. That's a pretty good match. It is, yeah. That's where it's nice to have those actual wood samples. Yes. Yeah, They're so sort of small though. Can... But yeah, because when t they, the wood samples, like when I first started doing it, the really small samples and there wasn't any knots in the sample and then I got it and was all these knots in it and they didn't have any knots in their wood it's like it's so not yeah that's not what it's <laughs> advertised, <laughs> it's advertised yeah. oh, that looks pretty good so that couch there left him all of about two inches to be able to work with up on the overheads as well he had about three inches to work with so he had to use an angle drill to be able to get into every one of those areas. Well, I noticed you brought a level. This yeah. area was tricky on a boat. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense, but... Um, it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got one. I use it. Levels, they don't even work on houses, let alone a boat. <laughs> it's just there. You know. <laughs> it makes everybody feel safe. It's more of a straight edge than anything, right? Yeah. Once he had the track installed, as well as the canisters and everything was aligned, it came time to figure out the alignment to the center. We get the one random fly. I know, right? <laughs> He's kind of like, fuck you. These are the latches that enable these invisible screens to be able to actually catch in the center and work independently like Joel was talking about. But I would say he probably spent I don't know, 60% of his time really working back and forth with each of the screens and making sure they caught nicely, uh, that they didn't have to push into one another or snap back without being planned. So it was a good deal of effort that went into this. Once Joel was satisfied, it was time to turn our attention to the pilot house and basically replicate the entire process all over again. Although it was a bit easier because I only had a single canister instead of having one that had to meet in the middle for dual sliders. Joel had this knocked out in a little over 45 minutes on this side of it. But this is going to be really nice once this is in because we can obviously open up the pilot house door as well as the two sliders in the back and really let the air just be able to flow through the boat. Uh, we've also found that once they are installed actually cut the wind quite a bit too so we don't really have to worry about having a really strong breeze rolling through the boat and bringing dust in. Uh, it was time for Carlin to do the actual end test not only on how well they fit but how well did they create some privacy and it turned out pretty well. Now that Memorial Day is upon us next week we can't wait to be able to use our screens, let a little airflow in, keep those pesky flies out.